Hello, welcome to my second video of Jeonju. If you remember my previous video, I arrived by KTX train after having my breakfast from Toulajour and went to try a type of raw beef bibimbap that was famous in the area as well as drinking moju, a local variation of soju. I'm here in Jeonju Hanok village, let's have a look around. I might as well check out this Kaka friend's store as it's near the entrance to the village. Oh, these look familiar. I wore something similar in my previous video. I think I look better though. No? Ah well, my mum liked it. She said I looked cool. Oh look, this one's holding a cigarette. How weird. I guess there's something for everyone here. Like these. If you like magnets or butts, this one's pretty good. But on the other hand, we have Ryan chilling with a jar of Ryan. I think I'll go with this one. Anyway, I didn't come here to spend all my time in a toy shop. I want to see the village. Here you can see a lot of people dressed in traditional handbooks. Everyone's having a nice time it seems. From what I can gather, there's places to eat and drink with lots of activities. It's a bit of a tourist trap. Like this place. Only tourists waste their money and get their caricatures done here. Hang on, 5,000 won? That's cheap. Well, it would be cheap if it was 5,000 won. It's actually double that if you want colour. 10,000 won. I've asked the lady to make a photorealistic portrait as I don't fancy her making a picture of me with big ears and a funny nose. I can't wait to see what it turns out like. Are you ready for the finished product? I'm actually quite happy. She didn't need to put bags under my eyes though. Hang on, what about those ears? I told her specifically not to make fun of my ears. Ah, never mind. Next door there's a sticker photo store. I love these, let's have a look. A lot of these places have costumes to wear to make your photos a little more interesting. I'm going to try one of these. I think I'll look special. Oh yeah, that's amazing. I think they turned out quite nicely. If you'd like to buy a set for your bedroom wall, then be sure to comment and send me £50 for a signed photo. What's that? Too expensive you say? Well, I guess you can have a copy for free, or maybe I'll have to pay you instead. How's that? Anyway, enough of this. Walking further into the village, you can see that everything is quite quaint, with cobbled streets and ornamental trees along the road. The weather doesn't look great, but the area is still quite pretty. Aha, finally some street food. I recognise this kind of place. Bungup Bang for a thousand won? Why not? This doesn't look too bad. It's quite thick, so there's going to be a decent amount of red bean paste inside. Let's try. Oh yeah, that's delicious. The outside is crispy and a little chewy, and the filling is nice and sweet. It's gone in seconds. Okay, so in the centre of the village is Gyeonggi Jon, which is a shrine that's been featured in a lot of K-dramas. It costs 3,000 won to enter. It's the same price for Gyeongbokgung Palace, only here there's no free entrance for wearing a hanbok. I'm actually a little gutted because the guy in the gate didn't even look at my ticket, or me for that matter, as I walked through. Never mind, it's pretty cheap and the money will be spent on the upkeep of the grounds. Okay, time for a travel montage. The area is quite large and pretty, but it's a shame that the weather wasn't great. I think it would look amazing in the sun. If you like taking photos, then this is the place to visit. So I'm feeling a bit peckish again and I found this restaurant which looks quite interesting. They serve fried beef and pork. The beef is 10,000 won and the pork is only 8,000. I want to try the beef. Oh wow, look at all that oil. More oil. Holy crap, I think this lady loves cooking oil. I hope this doesn't taste too greasy. Mm. Here we have it. On the left is a simple spring onion and chilli salad, whilst on the right is the beef. I think it looks quite simple but inviting. Looking closer, the fried beef is quite thin and crispy. I think it's meant to be eaten together with the salad, so let's combine them and give it a try. Okay, that's actually quite good. It's not at all greasy like I was worried about. There's a nice flavour of crispy egg in the batter and the beef is tender. Any oily taste disappears because of the sharp and spicy spring onion salad. It's very tasty and they go well together. Is 10,000 won value for money? 
It may seem a little expensive in normal circumstances. There wasn't enough to fill me up, but for a snack in a touristic area, I'm satisfied. Just across the street is this place. They actually sell skewers of fried squid which look unusual. I don't think I've eaten squid like this before. They cost 12,000 won, but I'm willing to try with a sweet onion powder. Okay, she's calling me back. Probably wants my autograph. Oh, I forgot to pay. She actually looked quite worried. There you go. Sorry. In the paper bag, there's two skews of squid to make it easier to eat. It's quite big actually, so I understand the price now. As soon as I start to eat, I can taste the sweetening powder and it's delicious. I wish I knew the recipe for this. It's hard to explain, but it is quite addictive. The squid itself is hard to eat, but only because I'm wearing braces. The texture is quite nice with the crispy tentacles and the main flesh of the body is softer. Well, a little softer. I recommend this, but be careful because it is quite messy to eat with bits pinging off all the time. I have some time to kill, so walking back to the main square, I can hear some music. I've seen these performances from time to time. This genre is known in Korea as trot. It's pretty cool. I just wish I understood the words as it sounds quite soulful. I need to prepare for my train journey back, so I'm here at Pungnyong Chegwa, a famous bakery in Jeonju. This is actually their headquarters. I've never visited this bakery before, so it should be interesting. There's so many unusual things here that I haven't seen in the usual bakeries in Seoul. I wish I could buy everything to try, but I wouldn't fit in the train, and to be honest, I'm starting to get a little fat from all the food I've been eating. I'm going to buy these ripe bananas, and I'm going to try this chocolate ring. I think there'll be enough for me on the train. I only have a few hours left, I'm done with Jeonju Hanok Village, so I've come to a local franchise in Jeonju for some hot food and alcohol. Let's go inside. There's a few ways to dine here. In the centre of the restaurant are little booths to sit in and on the edge are self-contained rooms for larger parties or if you want some privacy. I'm going to try one of the rooms. In the middle is a table with a cooking stove and there are benches to either side. It looks really cosy. In every room and booth there is a call button so if you need to order you can just press this and someone will come to you. These items are brought out first and they're all free. If you want more of them you have to pay. I'm happy already. The menu is pretty large and a little overwhelming. They have a variety of pre-cooked dishes you heat up at the table. It would take me a long time to work out what everything is in here, but I've seen something quite simple that sounds good. Teriyaki chicken for 19,000 won. I'm also going for a side dish of rice for 2,000 won. For my drink, I'm going to have their special makgeolli at 10,000 won. Which flavour? Hmm, pineapple sounds nice, so I'll go with that. Wow, this is the rice which costs a ridiculous 2,000 won. So very cheap. On the top is gim, radish and sesame seeds. You're given a glove because you're actually supposed to turn this into rice balls. I guess that's why it's so cheap, you have to make it yourself. Oh wow, this rice ball is full of flavour. It's tasty and cheap. If you come here then you have to try it. 2001, bargain. Makkali is a rice-based alcohol with an unmistakable smell and flavour. This one has ice inside and pineapple flavouring. I've never seen such a white drink. It looks quite creamy. It tastes like I imagined. Makkali with a hint of pineapple. It's not the strongest alcohol you'll taste, but it's very addictive. Be careful because it's easy to drink a lot of this. The teriyaki chicken is here. It comes in a 9 skillet with cabbage, rice cake, sweet potato noodle and chicken. All that's left is to turn the burner on and heat it up. Okay, whilst that's cooking, let me show you the best from Britain's Got Talent. Look at that, first time. I'm amazing.
The chicken's bubbling away, so it's time to eat. The sauce looks quite shiny, and the food at the bottom of the pan is beginning to caramelize. Oh, it tastes good, but it's actually not very hot. I should leave it to cook a bit longer. The sauce is a little sweet and savory, but it tastes nice and I want some more. Let's try this dock. Okay, it's a little better. It's hot and chewy, and it gives the dish an interesting texture. Here's the sweet potato noodle, or chapche as it's known. Mmm, hot and delicious. I need to wash this down. Ramen, anyone? I've undercooked this on purpose. Oh, I love it. The noodles are hot and springy, and as a free addition to the meal, you can't argue. I don't know what their dishes they have, but whatever you choose, you can't go wrong. It's fun to eat from a hot skillet you're tending to yourself. It's a bit like camping indoors. The makgeolli isn't very strong, so I think I'll finish this quickly in one go. Nearly done. Nearly. There's nothing actually in here, I'm just pretending. Oh no, wait, that's it. All finished. Well, apart from that bit. So that's Junju. Lots to eat, lots to see and lots to do. I wish the weather was better, but I had a great time regardless. If you do visit the area, make sure you try some of the local dishes and maybe even dress up if you get the chance. If you do come by train, then that's a bit of an experience in itself. Just be sure to stock up on snacks for each journey and you'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, make sure you visit that bakery. Their snacks were lovely. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.